I'm a pediatrician, so I really only treat children, but I uh, consult and confer on many uh, cases, including cases of HLH in adults. And there are a few fundamental differences. Uh, so we're talking about treatment right now, and one big difference in terms of treatment is um, the, uh, the treatment regimens developed for HLH really are, were developed in very young children. And so their ability to tolerate the chemotherapy and the steroids uh, in that regimen is actually much better than it is in adults. So adults who get the same sort of treatment actually do very poorly. It's very, very toxic for them. Uh, so, it's, so it's really difficult with conventional therapy for adults to um, tolerate the therapy. Uh, additionally, in children, the disease is mostly due to inborn errors of the immune system. So the immune system can't regulate itself. And so when we get infections or other sorts of things that turn on the immune system, they have a really hard time sort of controlling that. Uh, in adults, that's still possible. But most of the time, what actually is causing HLH are, uh, is actually malignancy. So malignancy itself, in ways that are not fully understood, can drive the immune system to activate, uh, can sometimes mimic overactive immune, uh, the overactive immune system. And so many patients, with uh, many adult patients with HLH, actually have malignancies, whether it's known or um, yet to be discovered. So currently, um, uh, treatment in adults is based on treatment in children. Uh, what most people do is they treat similarly but um, sort of back off on the dose, um, and the intensity of the dose or the frequency of the dosing. Uh, and so imipalumab is actually approved for treatment of primary HLH in both children and adults. Uh, and so, as I mentioned, most uh, HLH in adults is what people would, would classify as secondary, so secondary to malignancy or some other things on that list. Uh, so um, it's unclear, uh, frankly, you know, how um, imipalumab uh, may be used in those patients, but it is actually approved for use in adults with, uh, with what's called primary HLH, that is sort of this HLH that's a bit more related to sort of um, inborn errors in the immune system. So one additional difference uh, between caring for children and adults is that when you care for children, you also need to care for their parents because they're, they're going through the process as well. And it's, it's frequently harder on the parents than it is on the child.